If you've tried a few ROMs and want to get back to stock Pixel OS, or just need a fresh start, the Android Flash tool is for you. It's as easy as one, two, three, and the web interface does it all for you. The first step is ensuring you have the required drivers. If you've already dabbled with a custom ROM, you'll likely already have these. Otherwise, a link can be found in step zero. On your Pixel, you want to enable OEM unlocking and USB debugging. To access this, we go to settings, then about phone, then repeatedly press the build number down the bottom until the prompt appears. Next, we go to settings, system, then developer options, and scroll down to OEM unlocking, which was already enabled in this case, and then USB debugging. When connecting, ensure to accept the debugging prompt on the Pixel too. If you're coming from Graphene OS, be sure to follow this step. If not, feel free to jump to the next section. As Graphene OS adds a non-stock key as part of its installation, this has to be removed before reverting things back to Pixel OS. To do this, we want to put our Pixel into fast boot mode. This can be done by shutting down, then booting up while holding the volume down button. Then from the Graphene OS install page, click unlock bootloader, then follow the prompts on the Pixel. Then scroll all the way down and click remove non-stop key. Now we can return to our regularly scheduled programming. When you click add new device in the Android flash tool, it should now show our pixel. If not, make sure all drivers are looking all right. From here, the flash tool will unlock the bootloader if not already complete, requiring some physical input. It will then automatically select the appropriate build, download and install it. All like magic. Once that runs through, the final step will be to lock the bootloader again. Follow the prompts on the pixel and then reboot. Then breathe a sigh of relief when seeing our reliable Pixel OS setup screen. A few random issues that you may come across. If you happen to see an unexpected flash failure error, Double check you don't have any other tabs open which can issue USB commands, like another flash tool or the Graphene OS install page, as only one web USB connection can be kept open at a time. Then if you get an error when clicking add for the first time, where it can't fully inspect the device, as the text says, double check your pixel for the USB debugging prompt and accept it. Nice and easy.